Hello friends, welcome to Kani's Kitchen. This is going to be my first video for 2019. So I've decided to show you guys today on how to make sambar, Sri Lankan style. Alright, so this is how normally I prepare my sambar. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you the ingredients needed to do this delicious sambar. So the main ingredient is going to be dal. Alright, now what I've done with the dal, I've already pre-cooked the dal okay how you can pre-cook it is basically take like a cup maybe a rice cup of dal okay and then you add enough water to subdue it add a small piece of green chili and a couple of garlic and then you bring it to a boil add a little bit of turmeric powder and salt as well okay and you cook it until the dal has been cooked like this see okay and then you keep it aside so this is how you prepare the dal it's pretty easy those who have pressure cooker will be so much easier maybe with two whistles you will be able to actually cook the dal okay and next i'm going to see the vegetables i've taken now today i'm going i'm using potatoes and turnip cauliflower and carrot now for sambar it's really up to your choice on how much of vegetables you like to put in or what kind of vegetables you like to use as well all right um, there's also brinjal I've taken brinjal as well so this is like around three small pieces of brinjal this is like around two big carrots a, a half of a cauliflower this is two small turnips and three small potatoes but it's really up to you and how much vegetables you like to use some people use long beans lady finger as well for their sambar so it's the choices is really up to you for the vegetables, all right? And then I've taken one tomato that I'm, I'm, I'm adding in drumstick for flavor as well. And this is two small onions. This is like a stalk of curry leaf, a couple of dry chili. And I've already diluted, uh, I think just a small, like a $1 piece of um, tumor, um, tamarind. I've diluted it like this, okay? And then you will need the sambar powder. I'm using Baba's brand, all right, because I prefer Baba's brand because they do not have MSG in it. All right, as you can see, the packet states it. So, yes, yeah, so this is the sambar mix, okay. And then I, I normally use coconut. This is coconut cream, okay. You can add fresh coconut as well. So these are the ingredients needed. For seasoning, of course, um, okay, this is for the last stage. A little spice you will this is cumin and mustard seeds also. and you also need the acer for the powder as well which is this see acer for the powder okay this is only towards the end that we will use the spices so now let's get started on how the sambar can be prepared okay so take a saucepan okay and as for the first stage what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pour in the pre-cooked dal okay so as you can see i've actually pre-cooked it with a chili and garlic as well okay so now after this we're going to add in all the root vegetables okay so i'm adding in the potatoes and the turnip together because this, this will take some time to cook Okay, and then next goes in the carrots. Okay, so the carrot goes in now. Uh, when you're doing sambar, right, normally we, you, it'll be advisable to cut the vegetables slightly bigger. Okay, because this is going to be slow cooking. So if you're going to cut the vegetables a bit smaller or tinier, it might break up or even disappear in the sambar. So it's always advisable to cut your vegetables slightly bigger so that by the time it gets slow cooked, the vegetables will be at the right size for you to eat. And finally goes in the brinjal. So after this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fill it up with water up to the... enough to cover all the vegetables. Okay, so I'm adding in the water right now. So yeah, this is enough. And then after that, give the vegetables and the dal a good mix. 
water consistency is again up to individual some people will like their sambar very liquid some people will like it a bit thicker like myself so I do not like my sambar to be too watery I like it to be a little bit thick okay so this amount of water is enough so after this we are going to add the sambar mix Okay, so I'm going to add in right now around two and a half tablespoon of the sambar mix. Okay, so I've added the sambar mix. Now give it a good stir. Make sure there's no clumps of the powder. And then we are going to bring this to a boil. I'm going to add required amount of salt at this stage as well and if you notice I've not added the cauliflower because cauliflower cooks pretty fast and I do not want it to get mashed up in this slow cooking process now because compared to potato and carrot cauliflower takes much quicker to cook so we'll add it in at a later stage okay so now I'm going to add the required amount of salt so yes, this is the amount, we'll just add it in. Later on, of course, you can check it to see if it's enough. Not enough, we can actually add in a little more. Okay, so now we are going to bring this to a boil. So we leave this until it starts to come to a boil.